Hi, my name is Matthew Belisario. Welcome to another edition of the Belisario Sonic YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to do an unboxing of one of my favorite uh, bands' new live box set on LP, and that's going to be Marillion. And uh, this particular box set is the best, what they consider the best of between 2003 and 2011. And this was released on a two CD set, I believe, back in, I think, 2011 or so. And so this, however, has just been released on LP. And since I didn't pick up the two CD set back then, and it's hard to find now, this new LP box set was a good opportunity for me to pick this particular set up. So I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to unbox it today. I just got it here from uh, Amazon and uh, let's see how they did with their packaging you never know with these guys uh, what they're gonna do sometimes they're packed well and sometimes not so well so uh, I'm gonna open it up here um, all right let's put in the box with just some of these uh, these padding so hopefully it didn't bounce around too bad uh, looks like it's in pretty good shape Take the wrapper off here. So it's it's a uh, a, a box set, kind of thin, uh, a thin box there, and it's going to have the uh, four LPs in it. So let me go ahead and uh, cut the wrapper here. All right, so here we have the box set. Let me get rid of this out of here. Here's the back. Kind of give you an idea of, of what we're going to get on here. Four LPs. Early in Best Live. Okay, you got a nice booklet here. Just this... Uh, uh, Kind of a matte booklet. Looks like it's uh, just a fold out with some pictures of the band. Now for those of you who are not familiar with Marillion, um, they started off back in, in the 80s. Um, had four albums with the lead singer Fish. And then I think in 1988, I believe, I could be wrong, but around 88, the band Fish left the band and they were becoming very big, very successful. And um, then they, a new singer came in, Steve Hogarth, who is still currently their singer. Now they've done 14 uh, studio albums, I believe, since that time. So obviously Steve Hogarth has uh, been around much longer than the original lead singer. Now, a lot of people have, they, they, they kind of uh, pit one Marillion against the other. And I understand for the people that first came across the band back in the 80s when Fish was there. And then kind of saw the band take a little bit of a different direction there over time. For me, I came to Marillion well after uh, the Fish period. So I have no, you know, it doesn't matter to me which Marillion lead singer it is, I enjoy all the albums. So the first four albums I really enjoy, especially Clutching at Straws um, and the very, very first one. Uh, those are probably two of my favorite out of the first four, personally. I like them all, though. But uh, there's been some great albums by them after. Uh, and so, like, Brave, fantastic album. Um, Marbles, great album. Uh, just There's a lot of them. So, and yeah, even the new one... Um, Fear is, is, the, is the new one they released here, I think, a couple of years ago. Um, and that's a really good album. So I, I have no, uh, um, it doesn't matter to me which Marillion it is with which, which lead singer. I like them both. And so I, this particular album is between 2003 and 2011. And it covers the band in, in the live period during that time. So that's what you're going to have is Steve Hogarth. 
uh, singing, but they do do some of the early Marillion stuff where Fish was the lead singer. And so uh, the first uh, album here, you've got, um, I'll see if I can get this up here so you can see some of the tracks on here. The Invisible Man, You're Gone, King, Hotel Hobbies, Warm Wet Circles, uh, That Time of the Night, those three there are uh, from Clutching at Straws, the fourth album. Uh, so here you have a uh, nice, let's check out the uh, nice cover here, but let me check out the inside of it. Inside of it's just a plain um, white mat there, so I'll probably put these in some other uh, sleeves personally. I just don't like it to slide on any kind of uh, cardboard that will put any kind of light surface scratches. That's just me. And also it's not anti-static. So I can already feel a little bit of static on these. And a lot of, you know, a lot of albums are like that. When you get them, you have to, um, I put some solution on them and clean them up and it, get the, it also gets rid of the static. So when I put it on there, I have no surface noise. So this is the first of the four LPs. Here's uh, Live 2. And then here's uh, some of the songs on there. And again, if you're not familiar with Marillion, they are uh, kind of, a, I would consider them still a progressive uh, rock band. You know, you can have a song that easily spans, you know, 15 to 17 minutes on, on you know, their albums or, or live, of course, even longer. Um, let me go ahead and slide one of these out here of the sleeve and again I don't like to touch any of my records with my bare fingers so I'm just going to kind of slide this out and just kind of give you a look at what the album itself looks like and I'll slide it back in and then now we've got number three here and again some of the tracks here And let me check this, see if this is the same, same, same type labels on all of them, it looks like. So, and then we've got the fourth record here. So, you know, pretty nice packaging. It's matte finish. Uh, pretty, you know, sturdy cardboard sleeves. So I'm pretty uh, happy with that. But again, personally, I'll probably put these in some of the uh, the nicer sleeves, anti-static sleeves, just so they don't get scratched up. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drop one of these on the turntable just to kind of get a sample of the uh, sound quality. And... Um, I'll let you l listen just a little bit. I'm not going to put, uh, I'm not going to put it on very long because I'm not going to get into any kind of copyright issues with, with anybody. But as with on this channel, I'm here to promote good music and get people to go out and buy the music. So I'm not looking to monetize anything on YouTube. I'm not looking for donations. I'm not looking for anything here, uh, other than to get the word out on what cool things there are in music today, either discussing music or letting you know something cool to go out and purchase so that these bands, you know, can have their music out there and people can enjoy it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just drop here the, the needle on here just to see. Now, again, I haven't done any kind of anti-static or anything. Nice, clean, clean sounding record. So there's no noise on it whatsoever. I don't hear hardly any crackle, any kind of pops. Um, again, this is a live record, so you're gonna have <clears throat> your typical live sound on it. Um, this is the B side. So side two of the first, of the first record. So you're hearing King right now, the beginning of it. Great sounding. Uh, Take 
Steve Hogarth, great vocals. Great deal on this as well. You can get this for around 50 bucks. So you get four records. Pretty good deal for, for uh, 50 bucks. Four albums. So I'm really happy with this so far. And I'll put in the link on my video where you can purchase this and I you know go out and support the band go out and buy the record all right we're early in best live Go out and pick it up. I think you're going to enjoy it. If you like good progressive rock music. Great guitar. Great keyboards. Great vocals. Drums. One of the best bass players in rock music. Alright, we'll see you on the next episode.